What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And ladies and gentlemen, today marks the first day that Series 11 is now live. So we are bringing you guys our first Series 11 team that features Gigantamax Lapras alongside with Life Orb Dragapult and Zacian. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. It really does go a long way. We are on the road to 10k subscribers, so I cannot wait to hit that milestone. But yo, that honestly felt so good to say. Something other than Series 10, because Series 10 was starting to get dull in my opinion. It was just the same Pokemon over and over again. And now we have Dynamax back, which I really, really enjoy. It just throws up the meta. It is really, really interchangeable. You can use a bunch of different Pokemon using it. So I feel like this series is going to bring back a little bit of fun, and we're going to be able to see some new Pokemon that we haven't seen in a while but getting started with this team we have amoongus in this top left corner amoongus is a great support mod for any team this thing's rocking the regenerator ability alongside with the focus sash as the item so it doesn't get one tap obviously you got to be rocking spore with it just like this one has and then we also have rage powder pollen puff and protect Right next to him is the one and only Incineroar. I don't think Incineroar is really going anywhere. I think a lot of teams are going to have Incineroar, but a lot less. So Incineroar is still very, very strong. So we're going to be using him yet again in Series 11. Intimidate as his ability, Citrus Berry as his item, and then Fake Out, Throat Chop, Parting Shot, and Flare Blitz for its moveset. Middle left is an old guy that we haven't seen in a while. That is Dragapult. Absolutely love this Pokemon, so welcome back, Dragapult. Clear body as its ability, life orb as its item, and then this phenomenal moveset of Phantom Force, Fly, Dragon Darts, and Dragon Dance for its moveset. We have not seen Dragapult in so long. Ever since Series 11 came out, his use rate just went down into the dumps. Like, nobody was using it. He really thrives with Dynamax, so now that it's back, we're going to be using him a lot more on this channel. Right next to him is going to be Zacian. Zacian is great. He cannot be Dynamax in this series, though. Which is pretty cool. It makes him from being super, super overpowered. But still very strong Pokemon. Can come out of the back end. Get some KOs late in the game. Or he can be a lead and just start off with some big KOs. He's got Interpret Sword as its ability. And the Rusted Sword as its item. So we get that attack boost and that uh, typing change as well. We got Iron Head, Sacred Sword, Substitute, and Protect for this thing's moveset. Bottom left corner is our Gigantamax Pokemon. Which is going to be Lapras. And this Pokemon, you're going to be seeing a lot of Lapras across the rank ladder in the next couple weeks because everyone's gonna be like yo lapras is back this pokemon was super strong in series 8 this rule set is basically the same so let's go back to using lapras this thing has the light clay as its ability or not ability as its item so when we use our g max resonance as our g max move the aurora bell will last last eight turns instead of five that's why this pokemon is amazing it's because of its g max move it legit drops a free aurora bell and it does damage at the same time we also have Water Absorb as its ability, and then we got Hydro Pump, Freeze Drive, Parish Song, and Protect for this amazing moveset. Bottom right corner is another Pokemon that we have not seen at all in Series 11, and that is going to be Rotom Heat, or as I like to call it, Rotom Pizza Oven over here. It's got the Levitate ability, the Safety Goggles as item, and then Overheat, Thunderbolt, will o and Protect, a fairly normal moveset when everybody used to use Rotom Heat. But guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screens. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Ranked Double Ladder and look to get some wins for Series 11. Yes, sir. Series 11 is here for Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm super excited to be playing it considering I love the Dynamax format. I really do. But I'm bringing you guys this team today as a really strong team to get you guys started for Series 11. Potentially one of the better teams for Series 11. So hopefully we can do good with it. Hopefully we can showcase it. And hopefully you guys can push high ranks with it. But we're hopping into battle number one. Going up against a Zacian team. Alongside with Steam Engine Colossal. Probably rocking that weakness policy. That's another Pokemon that we got to showcase for Series 11. He also has the Regilecki, the Dragonite, the Lapras, and Togekiss is back, yo. It is so cool seeing all these Pokemon. But how should I go into this one? How should I play this? I could definitely potentially see him lead the uh, the Rotom. Or he could go with Colossus. So I am going to lead Lapras for turn one. Lapras can just be wonderful. It can be dandy here. Uh, who else should I go into? I think we definitely need to bring Zacian. Because Zacian can be an absolute beast. Incineroar is a great Pokemon here as well. I think we're going to go Incineroar as a lead. And rock out with these two. I'm digging it. I'm digging it a lot. But yo, this is going to be... It's going to be a little curveball for me playing Dynamax again. Because... I totally like forget the play style. It's been so long. It has been so long, but we're just gonna get after it. We're gonna just figure it out on our own. We should be fine. We're gonna get you guys that winning record today. I'm gonna promise you guys that. Maybe even a perfect record. So we'll see how this one plays out. But this guy has a lot of different options to Dynamax. This guy has a lot of different options to Dynamax. He Dynamax the Lapras, the Colossal if he's gonna proc Steam Engine. And it looks like he is going to do that with a Surf. So that's totally fine. I think I'm just going to Dynamax my Lapras and get after it that way. And uh, do I take out the Dragonite turn one? could take out the Dragonite turn one. 
because he obviously is going to Dynamax. I mean, he... Oh, no, he's not multi-skill, which is really, really good to know. I'm going to set up this reward valve here, and I might just, uh... I pardon shot. Obviously, he's going to Steam Engine proc. Obviously, he's going to Steam Engine proc, and he might just take me out with a Volklift, but... I am just going to parting shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He has inner focus. I think the Dynamax is going to come out, and I would love to set up this roar bell. But here we go. He's Dynamax, and I'm Dynamax, and both G Max Pokemon. Let's get after it. I don't really see him taking me out with a Volklift, even if he is a weakness policy proc, unless he goes after my Incineroar. I'm talking about my Lapras here, but you're fine. I think your boy is fine here. We are chilling. I probably should have went for a water move. Maybe he guards. Maybe he guards, but probably not. He's not just going to waste a guy next to move on, on a guard, right? On a turn one guard, he probably would have just protected at that point. But we're going to take out this uh this Dragonite, unless he's uh, Focus Ash, which I can see happening. I can definitely see happening. Let's do it. Let's get at it. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. <laughs> 474 HP. Man, I missed that. I missed that huge HP bowl. He's going to go for an Aqua Jet, that first turn priority, and he's going to do a lot of damage over on him. The steam engine proccing alongside with weakness policy. Alongside with weakness policy. I, I, I didn't miss this. I didn't miss this. Let's see what he goes for. He's going to go for the bulk with onto who? Go over on my Lapras. I'd like to see my Lapras maybe. But he goes after Incineroar, which is, which is totally good. But we honestly could have just dumped on the what's it called? We could have just dumped onto that, uh, onto that Colossal, but it's totally fine. I really just want to get rid of this Pokemon and set up the Roar Bell this turn. The War Bell is very, very good for us. Hopefully he's not Sash. Let's see what happens here. He is Sash. Son of a biscuit, man. Son of a biscuit. Okay. This thing is Sash. Uh, hmm. Dragon Bolt does outspeed, and I could go for Dragon Darts. We got the Aurora Bell. I think I am going to bring out my, what's it called? My Dragon Bolt here. And I could just Dragon Dart to one side, one side, and then go into my, uh, my geyser onto Colossal and finish him off because it is four times super effective. Look at that, yo. Shiny Pole coming out here. Battle number one is going to be going. It's going to be going, but we're going to rock out with this guy, sir. We're going to send it this way and just Dragon Darts. I could fly out and I honestly could dip, but I think Dragon Darts is going to be the player. Because we do outspeed that uh that Dragonite who might just go into an Aqua Jet, but it's all good. If our Dragon Pole goes down, I think we still should be thriving here by taking out his Dragonite and his Colossal because we'll have one more turn left in Dynamax. We'll have a Roar Bell set up and we still have our Zassian chilling in that back end, which is huge. Which is honestly huge. But another thing we gotta remember is like Dynamax can go through protects. That's another thing that is key to Dynamax. If we want to read a protect, especially with Pokemon on low HP, and we have a Dynamax turn, we should go into it with our Dynamax move. He's gonna go for the Volklift. This thing obviously outspeeds and go after my Lapras, please. Yep, he goes after my Lapras. Lapras can keep that up all day. That is lovely. Our Dragon Darts is going to fly. One's going to fly into Dragonite, take him out. The other is going to fly into the Colossal. Deal a little bit of damage, so he's gone. And then, even better yet, what's called has gone. Colossal is gone. Bye-bye, Colossal. Get out my face, dude. Eat up this Max Geyser coming in hot. Coming in hot. But, yo, Aurora Bell was such a good turn by me. I let my Incineroar go down for a good cause. But there goes your Geyser. Get him out my face, yo. Get him out of here. So we're sitting here. I think Dragapult might be faster than Zacian. I gotta see the speeds. I gotta see the speeds. We have a Zacian to kind of like go off of here. So this is gonna be a great battle. It's gonna be a great battle. He definitely is going to be bringing out Zacian, which I can totally see happening. He still has a vocal with damage, which is rather annoying, but we should be able to deal with it. We should be able to deal with it. Right, so we have one more turn in Gigantamax. We're posing a big threat on that side. I think he's gonna throw out Zacian and try to Behemoth Blade onto me. Yep, there's the Zacian. And let me check the speeds out. And oh, Regilecki's gonna come in hot too. That's a little scary. That is a little scary. I might guard him. I might max guard that thing. I don't know. We shall see. We know he's not rocking the focus dash. I want to see the speeds real quick. We know Regilecki's probably fast, isn't that? That's kind of scaring me. Hmm. We do have great speed. We have 213 and that's 212. So I'm thinking Pult should be faster. I don't know. That's tough news. But I think I am going to guard here. Or do I try to get off a Dynamax turn? You know what? No, we're going to guard here. And I am going to drop into a Phantom Force. Over in the Regilecki. That's, that is just the play. Because that hits through Protect. We got to get after this Regilecki. Let's see what he does here. 
We are guarding. Now, I'm, I'm curious to see if this thing is going for a... Uh, oh, he goes for a Thunderbolt. He doesn't go for an E-Web. Hopefully, Dragapult can outspeed here, right? Yes, sir. Dragapult outspeeds. And he has a waste of a turn. And now we get off a huge shot on that Regilacky. Which is just big for us. Behemoth Blade comes in here. And we avoid attacking. What a turn by us. Big old turn by us. Booklet damage is chipping away. But I think we should be able to potentially KO onto that Regilacky. As this, uh, what's called, goes down. As this Lapras is going to go down. So I could protect, but... In my case, I'm just going to drop a big old Hydro Pump and try to land it. Maybe he misses Thunderbolt. Maybe uh, maybe we dodge it. Maybe something happens like that. But we already got off our turns with our uh, with our Aurora Veil. We got off a kill with a Colossal. And we got a Protect, making a great Protect and dodging a turn. And now we get off a Phantom Force on the Batch Lucky, which I think should KO, right? So I think it should KO. Oh, and that's going to be tough. We need it to KO. We need it to KO, actually, and make it a 1v1 with our Zassian. See how this one plays out. Phantom Force flies through here. Hitting hard, and it goes down. Okay, so that thing goes down. It's going to turn into a 1v1, dude. A 1v1. And it's either going to be a speed tie or we outspeed. Because our Dragon Pole outspeeds his, uh, his Zacian. And what's it called? And we're only one speed less than him. <laughs> it's going to be so close. It's going to be super close. But yeah, this is tough. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but we're just gonna be rocking our behemoth blades, getting after it that way. Again, if we outspeed, I think we win this game. But it could be a speed tie. I really don't know. Maybe he has the same speed speed stats as us. But yo, coming down to the wire for battle number one. Come on, Gene Joe, we got this. We got this, baby. Let's rock into our behemoth blades. Show us we outspeed. Show us we outspeed. If he outspeeds, we know it's a speed tie. If he gets first turn here, we know it's a speed tie. Because again, our dragon pole outsped him. And our Zassian's only one speed lower. So it's either a speed tie or we have speed advantage. Your boy's thinking. Your boy's thinking. Let's go. Come on, Jeans Zassian. Come on. Or if he gets a crit, I swear. He protects. Okay. I mean, that doesn't really do anything, but that's cool. But that is cool. We're rocking with our blade. You go protect all day. Dude, imagine if I would have subbed up there. Oh, my lord. If I would have subbed up. That would have been lovely. But we outspeed. That is... Mwah. Mwah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We come out with Blade here. We get some big old, big old damage onto him. I swear, y'all. If he gets a crit and finishes me, I'm going to cry a little bit. I'm going to cry a little bit. Eat this up. All day, Zassian. All day. All day. No crits allowed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Zassian. Let's go. The rain has stopped. Let's finish this one off. I swear, if it was a speed tie, I might cry a little bit. But I think we should be fine. I could have shut up a sub. He's going to protect here. We know that's coming. We already know that's coming. Our Behemoth Blade comes out first. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a perfect record so far for Series 11. Let's get it, guys. 1-0 to get this series started. Let's hop to our second battle, look to dominate again, and go back-to-back -back for Series 11. What a way to start off Series 11, starting off with a big fat W on our win board. And guys, we're hopping into battle number two here, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team. This kind of looks like a Series 10 team, to be honest with you. It has the Mimikyu, the Regilecki, the Urshifu, Tapu Fini, and the Incineroar. I definitely want to bring in my Incineroar for Intimidate. He has a good bunch of physical attackers. I see four out of the six. So Incineroar, I might actually lead you. Incineroar could be a great lead here. I could go in with, uh, with Dragapult as well. I think Dragapult can be a great lead. All around he has a clear body so we can't be intimidated he can't be faked out either as a ghost type that's really really good we're gonna bring zassian here and then i think rotom heat is gonna come in that back end this little rotom heat act. gotta love this pokemon gotta love this pokemon we're gonna lock it down these are the four pokemon we want to use let's go back to back try to start off series 11 2 and 0 but solid battle to start off uh series 11 considering it wasn't a battle where i just dominated and just like clean sweep it was a great battle all around came down to the wire and we ended up winning a 1v1 zassian versus zassian due to our outspeeding which is awesome which was just awesome but uh let's see who he leads gonna go mimikyu and incineroar and i kind of kind of saw this lead coming a little bit but uh I might pop a trick room. i can definitely see him popping a trick room here but i think we're gonna go fake out for fake out which is kind of tough uh hmm hmm how could I play this one? Could you go into a Dragon Darts? Dragon Darts might be my play. It might be my play. I really don't want a Dynamax in. I really don't just want to drop a Dynamax. I just don't see that being a play right now. Hmm. Good parting shot. I could... I think I am going to party shot here. I could fake out turn one. Fake out could be good turn one. Yeah, I'm just going to fake out in Dragon Darts. If he trick rooms, he trick rooms. 
Right? Hmm. What do I do here? I am going to Phantom Force out here. That's my play. That's a genius play. He's definitely faking out and looking for a trick room. And dude, he's going to swap hard. I knew it, yo. I knew we should have went into a... What's it called? Bro, I knew we should have went in just straight up after his Mimikyu. I had an odd feeling about it. I had an odd feeling about it. We should have just went straight for the Mimikyu. I was going to double down into it. I was going to Flare Blitz and then... I guess Phantom Force, but we couldn't have. It really it wouldn't have worked anyway because it, our Dragon Ball has double hitting me. So he pops a Trick Room. He's definitely got a Dynamax here, and I am going to try to get off this party shot if I can. And just go from there. And just go from there. Is he going to Dynamax here? I would, th I would think he would Dynamax, right? But if we can get off this party shot, that could be huge for the squad. It could be, that could be huge. It could be beautiful. It could be beautiful. Just go straight for a high horsepower, which we should be able to eat all day, baby. Incineroar go next. Yes, sir. Incineroar goes next. We get off a huge parting shot. Mimikyu's, uh, is what's called is going to go out here, too. Is, uh, what is it even called? Is this guy's going to drop out here. And he's probably coming across the board here with me, right? I could go into Zacian or I could go into you. I'm thinking of going into you because we do have Levitate and he's not going to even, uh, he's not even going to, uh, Go for the, he probably is going to go for the ice move, but ice won't really affect me too much. But I'm just going to swap back into Incineroar onto my Dragapult slot after we take off this disguise here. This thing is going to taunt me. Oh, alright. Oh, alright. That's totally fine. We fell, we fall for the taunt. Phantom Force is going to pop here. And that is just going to take off this guy's. God dang it, man. God dang I wish this disguise was gone. So he gets off some damage. He gets off the Trick Room. Uh, he's definitely going for the ice move. He's like, he's got to be going for the ice move, right? So we could protect, but like I said, I'm going to go into Instant War, and I might just, uh, let's start throwing burns left and right. Oh, we can't. Uh, I guess we'll just overheat. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to overheat here. And he could swap, so maybe I shouldn't overheat this turn. Because, again, we know the Ice Move is coming. We know the Ice Move is coming, so I might just go into a Thunderbolt. Over onto Mims. And then hard swap into, uh, Instant War. Just to get that Intimate drop. He has stinking, he, bro. He has unnerved. He has unnerved. And that's a good turn for me. That's a lovely turn. He's gonna go into Incineroar, which is totally fine. And I think his Intimidate will come out. Yes, that is huge. That is huge because we are uh, special attacking there, and now our Incineroar comes out here. That is huge, baby. That's a huge turn for us. We get off Intimidate on two big old physical attackers. His Intimidate does nothing. We have Fake Out ready to win. And I mean, so does he. But I think we should be fine here. And Mickey is down to. He's down two stages. And we can eat our berry. We can eat our berry now that Calyrex is gone. That's huge. We love to see it. Back up the green. He's going to go for a play rough here. It's going to be easy eats all day. All day. Think of Dragon Pulse staying in here. Nah, son. Nah, son. Big old T-Bolt coming across. Get some damage. Show me para. Give me para. No paralyzes. Okay. Uh, with this going on, I'm just going to go into a T-Bolt over onto you. And I think I just might just throw Chop across here. It's going to do more damage. What is going to do more damage? 80, 120, obviously this will, uh... Let's go into a Flare Blitz. Let's just drop our Flare Blitz. I really want to get rid of this Mimikyu so he can't trick him again. He's going to start off with a Snarl. I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that because once our What's Called does wear out... Once our Taunt wears out, we can start throwing Burns on Pokemon. Flare Blitz, I think, should be able to pick up the KO here. I'm really hoping. And, of course, it does not. That's rough news. That is rough news. That is not a free focus ash, but it, it, it uh, still uh, still hurts a little bit. <laughs> it still hurts a little bit. I'm gonna fall for a taunt. T Bolt is gonna come out here. Again, I'm just trying to waste out the trick. Give me paralyzed, man. I'm trying to get one all day. My taunt is gone. You shake off the taunt. Uh, here protect you. He's probably going for another snarl. But in that case, I'm still just going to T Bolt over on this side because I really want you dead. And what should I do from here? What should jeans do from here? Just throw chop? We do a hard swap here. Does that, wait, how many turns left in a uh, dive or a trick room? One. So a hard swap could be the play here. No way he goes to a playoff, right? So my, I still have my uh I still have my Dynamax. I'm just gonna go into Zassian. Actually no I'm not. Yes I am. I'm gonna go into Zassian here. I'm going to save my Dynamax for the back end. 
I'm gonna save my Dynamax. I still have it. I still want this Incineroar just for the sheer fact that he has Calyrex. I don't see him going into a fire move, though. I think we should be fine here. I see him more so going into like a dark move, maybe. Maybe he'll party shot. Let's see. He's just gonna go into the snarl again. Which is totally fine. Because with that, we take out the Mimikyu. I don't think Mimikyu takes out my Rotom here. He's gonna taunt me. That's totally fine. We're not going for anything. We're going for this T-Bolt. We're gonna finish you off. And now we are sitting here. Now I can hard swap back into Incineroar, which I'm probably going to do. Get my stats reverted onto that Rotom, and then save my Dragon Pult for Dynamax in that back end. That I really, really like. Which Jeans really, really likes. But we're slowly playing this one. We're slowly playing this one. I almost forgot that we had Dynamax. I really did. When I, when I hit the Pokemon button, then I realized, I was like, wait, we have Dragon Pult back. And I was just like, wait, we can Dynamax. <laughs> it's just it's just a little change. It's a weird change. Considering how many, what was it, two, three months? I think it was two months that we did not have Dynamax and like we really had to like change how we were playing and really just like dial in. If you want to be good in Series 10, you really had to just change everything you were doing. But he's going to go like this. Uh, I think we just hard swap. I might protect here. Or I might sub up. I honestly might sub up. But I know we're going to outspeed. Definitely got to go into Incineroar here. We're going to hard swap you and I could, like I, like I said, I could just go into this. Behemoth Blade, but again, he might protect, so I might just protect or sub up, whatever I want to do. But I try to sub just in case he wants to. Hmm. I just don't think subs to play. I think protect is to play here. I think protect is to play because I think he's going to protect his Calyrex alongside with uh with Flare Blitz and a Cross. I really see that being the play. So let's get off an Intimidate here. On two big old physical attackers. And just see what he's gonna do. I'm gonna protect, and I, th I seriously think it's Calyrex he's gonna come back. Let's see his play. Yeah. Yep. So I was going to sub, but I think he's fired with across as well. Yep. Yo, come on, Gene. Yo, Gene's is just making the reads, man. Just making the reads. So let's fake out you, and now let's drop a big old Behemoth Blade as you can. Okay. Let's do it, baby. Let's run it. Let's run it. Go ahead, stay in. What are you gonna do? You gonna swap out? Are you going to swap out? That's fine. We still get off a big old Behemoth Blade. We still get ripping with that. A great swap by me, yo. We're playing really well. Still have our Dynamax. He could actually Dynamax here. And if he Dynamax that Calyrex, yo, Behemoth Blade is double damage. So it's super effective. Double damage. I still see us potentially taking him out. And I honestly hope he does that. I hope he Dynamaxes here. He could be trying to set up a Trick Room. That could be his play, but I think we're fine here. Go ahead, yo. Go for the Dynamax, dude. Do it. He does not, yo. He does not go for the Dynamax. Yeah, this one plays out. This should be able to pick up a KO. We should say bye-bye to Calyrex here. We should say bye-bye to him. Get him out of my face. Get him out of my game, dude. We are rolling this second battle. Running Series 11 so far. We get a crit there, too, but, yo, he was dead either way. He was dead either way. No one's surviving a super effective Behemoth Blade. Even if you're Dynamax, because it just does even more damage. But we're rolling out here like we still have our Dynamax and I'm telling you I'm saving it for the back end just in case something goes wrong here. And he still has his. He still has his and I think Tapu Fini is going to send it in Dragon Ball. Mm. We do have Rotom. We might want to go Rotom with that one. The good thing we did swap our Rotom out. I could parting shot because again I do think he is going to. The Dynamax on you. I could I could Behemoth Blade over onto it. Is that what I want to do or do I just want to drop a big old Secret Sword? What do I want to do? What do I want to do here? Hmm. What does Sheen's want to do here? But they could potentially just go for Flare Blitz. I might just go into a Secret Sword here. Yeah, I'm just going to protect this turn, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I'm going to protect. How about finish probably Dynamax, right? Yeah. I have five seconds left. I just think protect was a safe play. Again, we have we have, we have two options to Dynamax in our back end. We still have all of our Pokemon. Here comes the Finny out here. I'm hoping we can get off we can get off this part and shot. I think he is gonna go for the Flare Blitz. Or he might double down into me. Let's just see. Let's just see. If we can get off this part and shot, that that's big. That's big for G. Attack coming out from the Zass. I don't remember. We still take a little bit of damage through that. Uh, or whatever he wants to use, and he's just gonna go for a geyser, and that is going to take out Incineroar. 
Oh no, he goes after Zazzy. That's huge. We love to see it. And I think he's going to Flare Blitz on me. I think he is going to Flare Blitz here. He sets the rain. And Party Shot comes out, baby. Party Shot comes out. Okay. So, hmm. What's the play here? What is the play here? Oh my god. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to toy with this guy. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send out you. He's going to be like, hey, I'm going to go for a... Uh, He's gonna be like, hey, I'm going for a, a max star ball. And I'm gonna say, nah, son, you know, we dipping out of here. He's gonna snarl here. We're gonna block that one. And that is gonna be super effective on my Dragon Bolt. But we are still physical attacking. Pretty solid. Just pretty solid. Just pretty solid. Uh, like I said, we got Phantom Force. I think, I, think, I think we save our Dynamax for our Rotom. What is Rotom's speed, though? What is Rotom's speed, though? That's a good question. 120. Does that outspeed a. Uh, my Dynamax here? I'm just gonna Phantom Force. And do I go for Sacred Sword? I think I do. Actually, no. We're gonna go for this Behemoth Blade. We have, we have double damage thrown out here. I'm gonna go for that all day. Phantom Force is gonna come out here. Yes, sir. Yeah, while this thing is Dynamax, I think it's your best bet to hit this thing with Behemoth Blade. Behemoth Blade flying. And we might Dynamax or Dragon Pole next turn. We'll, we'll see, depending if it's still alive. Uh, here comes a big old behemoth play coming out here. Oh, oh my lord. Good thing we went into that. Guys are going to fly through here, and that's going after Zassian. That is going after Zassian. Can he eat Zassian? He might be able to. Yes, sir. Minus one on the parting shot. That is good. He's going to go into a flare blitz, and we might be able to eat that. He is minus one. I get a super effective, but it's in the rain as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Run it all day. Run it all day. I can see a guard coming out here. He's going to restore a little bit of HP with that. I can't see a guard coming out from him. But our, uh, I don't know, actually does, uh, I don't think uh, Phantom Force hits through max guards. I think it only hits through protect. But I don't even know if uh, that will hit. There's the guard. We make a good call. Yo, we're making some good reads, man. We're making some phenomenal reads. Phantom Force gets blocked. Luckily, we dropped our Secret Sword to this left side over here. Might be able to pick up KO. We're plus one. It's not stab, but it still does it. It still does it. Yo, that's GG's. That is GG's. Without a Dynamax, we are still crushing it. We are still <laughs> ripping people apart. But I'm going to actually Dynamax the Dragon Pult right here, right now. I'm going to Dynamax the Pult right here, right now. He's going to cancel battle, though. So we're not even going to be able to see it. But, yo, dude, let's go. Let's go, yo. Series 11, I'm already loving it. Let's Dynamax. Let's go into our Phantasm. My plan here was actually to, like I said, I led the Dragon Pult. And I want the Dynamax and maybe get off, like, a speed boost and all that good stuff. But uh, he set up a trick room, man. We played that one so perfectly. We just played it slow. We got our swaps in at the right time. We read protects left and right. Just played phenomenally. Like, that's how you know we outplayed our opponent so hard. Is when they used their Dynamax. And we didn't even use it. And did we lose a Pokemon? Yes, we lost. Uh, wait, did we lose a Pokemon? Did we lose Incineroar? Did Incineroar die? I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Did Incineroar even die? No, we just parting shot onto it. We just had a clean sweep without Dynamaxing. Well, we Dynamaxed at the end there, but still, we didn't have to. We just did it just to do it. <laughs> Time to grab ourselves that perfect record to get Series 11 started. We're going up against a beat-up Terrakian team. That is pretty cool. I haven't seen a beat-up team in forever, dude. It feels so good to be back with Dynamax format. Because that is really what makes Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, that's its, uh, its whole gimmick. Which I really, really like. I didn't like Dynamax at first, but once I started getting used to it, knowing all the stat changes, knowing how what changes weather, what changes terrains, what changes stats, you really start to like it. You really do start to like it because it brings a whole different versatility towards the uh, VGC content. But uh, this guy also has the Dragapult for the beat up, and then he has the Jigglypuff, the Incineroar, Kyogre, which we gotta watch out for Kyogre's Beast, and Whimscott for Tailwind. Uh, I think I am going to lead Lapras alongside with the Incineroar. I just think that is really, really good for us. Zassian in the back end. And then I think we are going to bring Dragapult and just say, hey, Amoongus, you're out of this video. You are out of this video. Everyone really knows what Amoongus already does. But I think we should be fine going into this squad right here. I really do like it. I really do like this squad here. But guys, I didn't even ask question of the day. Just been so excited for Series 11. But let me know for a question today, what are your overall thoughts on Series 11? Do you guys like it? Do you guys like Series 10 more? Or are you guys happy with where the uh, rule set is as of right now? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, guys, if you want to send me Series 11 teams, do so in my Instagram DMs. Name is right below my face cam, and there is a link down in the description below. So definitely send me teams, and I'll try to play them on my YouTube channel for you guys. But 
Another thing is, let me know what teams you guys want to see me play. I got Charizard teams on deck. I got Shadow Rider Kyrox teams. More Dragapult teams. I got some Togekiss teams. I got them all lined up for you guys. So if you guys have any suggestions for Series 11 teams that you guys want me to showcase for you guys, let me know in the comments section down below. But I'm going to be showcasing the better teams off first, just to get you guys some teams that will get you started for Series 11. But this team right here is phenomenal. It is definitely top tier. G-Max Lapras is obviously broken. Once again, super, super strong. Super good all around. But uh, I can definitely see a beat up popping out here, and I might just Dynamax go into Resonance. Or I could, better yet, go into a Geyser. But you know what? I'm just going to drop this Resonance, set this up, and then just go into a Fake Out here. Let's go and go out of play. If he protects, he protects. If he protects, he protects. We still get off the Resonance. Here. I know he is Rock Typing. I know that's a problem. But if we can get off this Reward Veil, it could be lovely. It could be lovely. Or I could just go our next turn and drop the point. It's just really whatever I want to do. Whatever Jeans wants to do. He did get off an Intimidate, which was. I could just start parting shotting, but let's see what he does. Oh, we say bye bye to Whimsicott. Whimsicott is gone. Whimsicott is gone, baby. Later, Skater. He's going to go for the close combat. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Drop your defense. We get rid of your Whimsicott. We get rid of your beat up Pokemon. Get out of my face. And we get off a of Warbat. And we eat our berry. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Series 11. Loving it. I'm loving it. Yo, guys, rent this team. Rent this team. This team is fire. It is so good. It is so good. Look at that. Later, Whimsicott. Get out my face. Get him out of here. Get that Aurora Bell set up. Slab, bro. Slab, bro. Yo, I saw this team. I was like, this got to be the first team I got showcased. This has got to be the first team. And it's working out perfectly. It's working out perfectly. I definitely want to showcase a Charizard team soon. G Max Charizard. You guys know it's ripping. It's going to rip. Charizard's a beast. He's going to throw out Jiggles. He's going to get jiggling. Which I'm cool with. I'm going to drop a Geyser here over on you. And I might just, uh, my hard swap. Do you think he's going to go for another close combat? So if he is, I could just. I could just read if I go in the pole. <laughs> I could do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it comes out. I'm gonna say the close combat comes out. We're gonna read him go into the pole. He's probably sitting there thinking like, oh, like I have nothing left to lose here. Let me just go into another close combat and take him out. Right? I, if I had to guess, that's what he's going for, right? Okay, I guess for an ally switch. That's fine with me. Are you still going for close combat? He does, yo, the reads, the reads all day, the reads all day, dude. This video has been full of reads as well, dude. We just bring you guys some perfect content to get us started here. We get off a nice big geyser. We set the rain, which is lovely, and we still have Zassian in the back. Zassian is great at good side max Pokemon, especially with speed. Uh, we're going to go into another geyser. I don't know if the ally switches or not, but in this case, I'm just going to Phantom Force. What do I just fly? I think fly is going to be our safe play. Oh, I could drag and dance. I could drag and dance. Or I could swap again. Uh, uh, mm. Just swap again. Let's save a pull for back. I'm going to swap again. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully he's not rocking another ally switch. If he doesn't, we can say bye bye to Rakian, which could be a big kill for us. Could be a huge kill for us. And now we get fake out ready to roll for next round. And his defense is down. And I think that Wimscott had the sack. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the protect onto you. Okay. I'm not cool with that. And I, is Jigglypuff going for like maybe a sing? Oh, he's gonna double protect. He double protects. He just wants to waste out this last time next turn. I'm cool with that. We have fake out on deck. So I can just fake out onto the uh, Jigglypuff. It's probably my, my play. I still did a, whew, I still did a great amount of damage, a great amount of damage. Uh, I can see another close combat coming out here. So do we still fake out onto Jigglypuff? And then do we Hydro Pump across? I think Freeze Drive would still KO this thing, considering his defense is down. So I don't know who I want to fake out. I say we just let no. Uh, he's got to have Kyogre in the back, right? Let me see his Pokemon. He has to have Kyogre in the back. Which I'm fine with. We still have our Dragapult who outspeeds that. Unless he's Choice Scarf. He could have Incineroar. I think Incineroar. Ooh, or he could have his Pult in back. Hmm. I don't want to fake out though. I don't want him to put me to sleep. So I think I'm just going to fake out the Jiggles. And let my Incineroar potentially go down. 
Let's see how this one plays out. Or maybe he might not even go into it. Maybe he might not even go into the close combat. He does. Okay, he does. That's fine. Instead of survive because of the intimidate, dude. <laughs> intimidate and the roar bell is just doing us good. Just doing us good. Just doing us good. So this should take out. Yep. And now he has to show his final Pokemon, which which I think it has to be Kyogre, right? Which I think it has to be Kyogre. It's either that or Dragapult, but I'm thinking it's Kyogre here. Let's see. He throws out his final mind. This is who he's going to Dynamax, and it's going to be Kyogre. It is going to be Kyogre, and I think we just, uh... What do I do here? I think maybe we should go for a parting shot. If we can't get it off, that's huge. That would be enormous for us. He's got a Dynamax here. We still have our Zassian who outspeeds him. We still have our Dragapult who outspeeds him. Unless he's Scarf, but I don't see him being Scarf. Especially if he's going to Dynamax. Yeah. And if he does Dynamax, right, the effects of Scarf go away until he comes back out of Dynamax form. Yep, I remember that. I remember that. So, big old Dynamax coming out from Kyogre. He's probably maybe going to pick up the KO onto my Lapras. I don't know. I can see an ally switch coming in. I could see an ally switch coming in. Let's see what he does. He's going to go straight for a Geyser, and that's going after Incineroar. Incineroar is dead. That is totally fine by me. Hopefully, our Lapras out speech jiggles. Little jiggles over here. And then we can get off this lovely, beautiful Hydro Pump. Yep, and this should be able to KO. In the rain, stab, get this thing out of my face, right? Tell him to go home. Yes, sir. Get him out of here. Okay, it comes down to a 3v1 situation, and it's looking really good. We got freeze dry. We coming out here. We could behemoth blade. Or I could go in with my dragon point advantage. Whatever I want to do here. I think I'm going to save my Zassian for when he undynamics. I think I'll save the that for when he uh, on Dynamax and showcase the Dragapult and Lapras because these are really the two driving Pokemon that really forced me to pick the scene. I was like, yo, I haven't used Dynamax Dragapult in a while, haven't used GMAX Lapras in a while, let's rock it. Going to a freeze dry here and let's just dip into a Phantom Force, maybe he'll go for an ice move. You never know. Let's do it. Let's rock it, baby. Let's get it, yo. What a set of battles so far. What a set of battles, yo. I really want this perfect record. I want it so bad. And a lot of people think that I just like, I, oh, he goes for the hailstorm, yo, we dodge it. A lot of people think that I just like, I like keep recording up until I win and just showcase you guys the battles I don't win. And like, no, I showcase all the battles I win and all the battles I lose. I bring you guys straight up content. And if you guys want to see my record, I'll show it to you guys after this. I'll show it to you guys after this. We are ripping it. It's gonna be 3 now. Gonna be 3 now. Let's get it. Bang, big old fan of horse. Another freeze right is going to pop. He's probably gonna hailstorm and take out my drag hole. Which is all good. Which is all good because you know we bring in out the Dynamax kill after this. That's gonna be the one, the only Zassian. The one only Zassian to go 3 0. To go 3 0. And I wonder what would hit harder. I really do wonder what hits harder. I think Behemoth Blade might hit harder. The Free Strike's gonna pop. That's some big old damage. And I, I think I might just double protect here. Right, do we double protect? <laughs> he gets buffed by his own hail, man. I think double protect is to play. Play it safe. Play it safe. We have, we have to get this one. Now. We're going to play it safe. We are going to just double protect. Do that. We get our speed boost. But I wonder what hits harder. So we got a stab move that is not very effective. Oh, he's not Dynamax anymore. So, okay. There's no point in doing it. But I wonder what did hit harder. Would it have been Behemoth Blade? Because Behemoth Blade is double damage up against Dynamax. Pokemon, but it would have been not very effective. Or would have been Sacred Sword, which is just stab, but normally effective. I don't know. I don't know. But we're not double protecting anymore because I thought he had one more turn left in Dynamax. We're just going to go into a freeze try and take a short and either or should be able to finish this off. But he cancels the battle. We go 3-0, baby. For all the people who don't think I show my first three battles, here it is. 3-0 to get Series 11 started. I don't know why my rank didn't go up that much. Oh, it's because I didn't update the rank. It didn't update the past two times, which is weird. I, it just gave me my first battle win, and then it didn't update it. I'll update it on my own time, but there it is, yo. 3-0 for you guys. I want to showcase that for all the people who really don't think I do my first three battles. But every battle I lose and every battle I win on the channel, I definitely showcase for you guys. But here's one last look at this phenomenal team. I'm telling you guys, rent this team for Series 11 to get you guys started. It's amazing with that G-Max Lapras. It is an absolute beast, especially once you set up the Roar Bell. You also have the Dragapult, who you can also Dynamax that does big damage with that Life Orb. You can get a speed boost with your uh, flying move. You can get that defense drop with your Phantom Force. And then you also have the attack drop with your stab dragon move. You also have Zassian on this team, which I think we showcase plenty enough. 
plenty enough, especially with, with Dynamax Pokemon. It can do double damage and just rip apart teams. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive V-Day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.